Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are going to be continuing our adventures in Icewind Dale. In the last episode we dealt with the quest for Mr. Rothgar here. We went to check on the missing caravan which was apparently raided by orcs. We retrieved some of the belongings but not sure they're going to want it. Yes, it shall be. And we're just going to go for our reward. What news of the caravan from Cardinal? I came across the caravan just outside of town. It looked as if it had been attacked some time ago by orcs. I tracked the orcs to a nearby cave and paid them back for their butchery. The caravan's supplies are safe within the cave. Ah, okay, because the chests were still in there, the ones that we couldn't loot. Mm, Makes strange. sense. It is not usual for orcs to be so brazen as to attack caravans so close to town. I wonder if it is the anticipation of the coming winter that is driving their actions. Or if it is something more. Hmm. So we found the ambushed caravan bound to for Cairdinaval to East Haven, uh, from Cairdinaval to East Haven. We returned to Rothgar to tell them of our discovery and of how we tracked the marauding orc raiders back to their lair. The stout warrior seemed somewhat worried about the orc attack, but was relieved to know that the supplies were still recoverable. In any case, at least we can still retrieve the supplies, thanks to you. You've proven yourself to be quite capable. I'm glad you've decided to come along with us to Kaldahar. Mm-hmm. Thank you. When we leave. We still have preparations to make before we can depart for Kaldahar. Take this list of supplies to Pomab's Emporium across town. Okay. While you're there, you might outfit yourselves with whatever gear you think you may need. Return here when you are packed and ready to go. Okay. <clears throat> Very well. I shall return shortly. You have Ooh, indeed. level up for our cleric. Nice. Ready. Okay. Right. And since it kind of seems that we are going to be leaving this little town, I'm going to take the time to try and rob this place. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? So, we're going to level up Vicky. She doesn't get any new proficiency slots, she just gets an additional level 1, Priest Spell, uh, 10 hit points and Lore increased by 1. Okay, the hit points are very nice. And for our extra spell, I'm gonna take another command, because command is very, very useful. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, in the meantime... Of course. Does not seem to be any traps around. Ooh, what's this? Scribbled note. Let's copy it to our journal and read it. If you are reading this note, then obviously you are a thief come to rob me of my hard-won <laughs> hard riches. Sorry to disappoint you. Did you really think I would keep my valuables in such an obvious and unguarded place? Consider this note a warning. I do not care much for those who would poke their nose where it doesn't belong, and anyone caught practicing thievery in the town of East Haven shall answer to me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's just do this. Nothing happened, my friend. Everything is in its place. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's just put the arrows in place. Very well. We're gonna go to Mr. Pommel. To uh, deliver the supply list. Or get some supplies, maybe. And then my plan is to go to the inn, get some rest, because we have some injured people, and then we are going to be heading out. I haven't explored upstairs yet. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I have come to deliver the supply list from Rothgar. Very well, give it here. Now, be on your way. The expedition will be departing shortly. It would be a shame if they left without you. Uh, whatever, man. Farewell. Your okay, so what do we have up here? Does he let us go upstairs? Apparently he does. What's it yep. Check for traps. This is a cozy spot. <laughs> I like his bed. Does not seem to be any traps. We're just stealing some supplies. <clears throat> so, I mean, I have 19 intelligence, so I think I can learn this without any major issues. So I'm just learning some new spells. 
Now we have the caravan contract. This wrinkled piece of parchment appears to be a written contract of sorts. Balin. Deliver these five crates of supplies to the Emporium in Heasthaven. Make sure to get a fair price from that unscrupulous Kalashite weasel, Ponmab. Use the profit to acquire three barrels of uncarved scrimshaw from Gaspar's warehouse there in Heasthaven. Return to Cardinaval with the three barrels and you shall have your agreed upon payment. Keep your eyes to the tundra. There have been reports of orcs in the hills outside of Eastaven. It might be wise to use your advance payment to hire on some extra caravan guards. Safe journey. <clears throat> Ilmus Galloway of Cardinaval. Okay. <clears throat> so this was maybe the contract from I will do so. the caravan that was raided, I'm guessing. We got some new spells for Mr. <laughs> Jan here. And I think, I think since it's, it's so early on, I'm actually gonna, t uh, I'm actually gonna take two I instances of sleep. So be it. Spook is useful, but it's only single target, so I think I'm gonna save that for when we have some tougher opponents, maybe. So be Quimby. It. Greetings, traveler. The name's Quimby, and I welcome you to my inn. Well met, Quimby. You seem rather enthusiastic. Ha! <laughs> enthusiastic? Yes. It is rare that I get any travelers at all at this time of year. Thus, I want all of my guests to feel welcome. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, okay, how about a room, Quimby? Peasant room. Because we're poor. We still didn't get fully healed, but <clears throat> that's fine. It's a single point of damage. Watch me die to six points of damage later on instead of seven. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, so I gotta go to Rothgar's house. And I'm guessing we're gonna go off to, to this expedition. Indeed. There you are. All is set. The others are assembling as we speak. Are you ready to leave as well? Mm-hmm. Yes, we are ready. Let us be off. So it was that the patchwork militia set off from East Haven, bound for the troubled village of Kaldahar, with the party of strangers in tow. On they traveled, across the windswept tundra of the day, through the foothills of the spine of the world, and upwards on the steep and treacherous trails of the Kaldahar Pass. Eager to seek out the evil that threatened the pass, they did not expect it to find them first. Not bad. High upon the cliffs of the pass, a band of frost giants had prepared an ambush. Hurling boulders and dislodging massive outcroppings of rock and snow, the giants sparked an avalanche that thundered down the mountainside and crashed down upon the heads of the unsuspecting expedition. Those fortunate enough to survive the avalanche pulled themselves free of the mountain of snow and bodies that now barred the way back to East Haven. Mm. Battered and disheartened by the loss of their comrades, the survivors had little choice but to continue on to Kaldahar, alone. This was a very <laughs> unsuccessful expedition. Goddamn. Well, <clears throat> okay, we arrived. Your world map has been updated. Hermit. Merciful gods! You're lucky to be alive! Are you alright? Anything broken? No, we are not alright! Half the damn mountain just fell on top of our expedition! I know! I saw the whole thing! I was dozing off in my cave over yonder when I felt the ground begin to shake and heard the rumble something fierce. I stumbled outside just in time to see the avalanche come crashing down. It's a good thing you ran forward instead of back into the past like the others. Ah, poor bastards. One thing's for sure, I'm not digging their bodies out from under there. They'll have to wait till the snows melt to receive a proper burial. Well, we're touched by your concern for our fallen comrades. Do you, by chance, know the way to Kaldahar? <coughs> Kaldahar? Why would you want to go to that miserable little burg? Nothing there but a big tree and a bunch of shacks and lean toes. It's an eyesore, if you ask me. I think I remember this big tree, and I actually like it a lot. Um, 
Look, all we asked for was directions. Now, can you help us out or not? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to point you in the right direction. Follow this trail east through the valley. Kaldahar lies just beyond the old mill. But you do well to keep your guard up. There are goblins everywhere between here and town. Filthy little buggers. Ever since them townsfolks abandoned their farmsteads, they've been crawling all over the valley like they own the place. Now, oh, <clears throat> thanks for your help. Farewell. So be it. So be it. So, <clears throat> I already hear goblins and... <laughs> A little fire and lightning yeah, should liven things up. Uh, I hate these archers on top of cliffs. Ah, never mind. This one we can get a foothold. Cool. Do they have a little, <coughs> a little garrison? Come on, Corgan, hit! <coughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> he did hit. Good job, team. Uh, am I bothered with shields? Not really, right? I guess I can take one just for... For Corgan in the event that I need him to <clears throat> be a little bit more tanky, maybe? <clears throat> but for now, I want them like this. Um... Okay, so I want the arrows, I want this. And actually, what's the change here? So, we have 17th Thaco with the two-handed axe. We have 17th Thaco with the one-handed axe. 7 to 14 damage, 8 to 17 damage. What's our APR? Three halves. Three halves. But I am proficient with two-handed weapon style, so I think I attack faster and I have <clears throat> better crits with two-handed weapons. So we're gonna stick to this for now. Just kidding. Oh, a goblin marshal. He's a big bugger. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. Kill the archer. Good. Yeah. Now focus on the marshal. Can you attack me through the wall? <laughs> I await your instructions. Indeed. Setting is critical strike, killing the marshal. I'm I suppose I got some time to kill. Good job, Setting is. Um, so be it. There are chickens. Not really gonna concern myself with chickens. A healing potion. That's cool. The areas are quite small <laughs> in Icewind Dale. Hmm. As best I can. Need now. A little fire and lightning should light things up. Good job, Setinish. And stuff. Your desire. Just trying to keep my sorcerer out from. Um, yeah. Line of sight of archers. The mill wheel is stuck in a frozen creek, though it shows signs of heavy use. There appears to be no way it could operate in its current environment. Okay. Die. okay we have some Die. enemies at the mill. Uh, we have some archers as well. Are you an archer? Oh. Come, let us I do not want to get surrounded. Oh, we're, we're good, we're good. I will do so. Uh -huh. We seem to have a pretty solid front line, which is awesome. I am ready as always. And I, I want to so. check out the rest of the area before I go over there. Because that seems like progress, <clears throat> so I want to check out this area first. And who Ready. leveled up? Corgan leveled up. That's awesome. That means additional hit points and better tackle. Just double checking this. So he is specialized, which means we get a bonus to damage roll 
minus 2 bonus to speed factor and we crit on 19s and 20s. Okay, so we just attack faster pretty much. Okay, cool. Yes, I'm not gonna swap to a one-handed weapon because of one AC. Looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. I like the voices. I love the voices actually. <laughs> It's really a shame that these games <coughs> aren't aren't really done anymore. There are a few, of course. <coughs> we have um, we have Pathfinder, which is <coughs> cool, but in my opinion, not really well done and drags out a lot. And then we have Pillars of Eternity, which is quite good, but not really the same. What is it you are? You a friendly ogre. I don't really like having my sorcerer go up to him, but he is my Shall most charismatic you? person, so... Me will smash your face! That doesn't sound friendly. <laughs> Gereg, head hurt. Why you make Gereg's head hurt, skinny people? <laughs> we make your head hurt because he's a big dummy. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with your head? No, no. Walk here from my cave. Need to answer call. Now cannot, and the head, it hurts. Get a one to pound head against wall to make head okay. <laughs> we met an ogre in, the t in a tower in Kaldahar Pass. His name was Gereg and his head hurt badly. He told us that he came to Kaldahar Pass from his cave, that, that he was called. He said he wanted to pound his head against the wall to make the pain go away. Okay. I think that's an excellent idea, Gereg. Hitting your head against the wall as hard as you can will certainly make the pain go away. It's an old Regaman barbarian remedy. Try it, you'll see. Aha, no funny. Gereg head hurt? You insult me. Now Gereg make your head hurt. That funny. Oh, god damn. I may have just missed out on a quest here. It shall be done. Crush me to goo. No, don't crush me to goo. You have man. my undivided attention. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> ah, God. Um, well, let's just see if my front line can handle this. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Okay, okay. It, it was. I await your instructions. Man. This is the thing with being evil in games. I'm. I'm afraid I may have missed out on like quest experience by doing this. Let me see something. Quick save successful. <clears throat> Let me see. Yes, it shall be done. I did a quick load here just to see if there's a quest I can do for face. this guy. So what's wrong with your head? You know, Gerdeg, I don't think that's a very good idea. Hmm, maybe you're right. No, no, what to do? Uh, good luck, Garrick, I guess. Let me see. Do I have a quest? Yeah, I do have a quest. Yeah, so this is a quest. So I'm gonna try if I... I'm gonna try and see if I can help him first to get the experience. And then maybe I can murder him. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm playing an evil character, but... If being evil means that I'm going to be missing out on quests and quest experience and quest rewards or follow-up quests, I'm not really going to take that line. Why are you not hostile? I... You have my indeed. Let's send the negotiator. I await your instruction. I am ready as always, as you will it. Goblin Marshal, what am I doing here? What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, well, it looks like you're looting and pillaging this mill. I'm not pillaging the mill. Some of my men are. But what do you expect? We have no food and we don't understand why we were called here. Huh, so this guy was also called. We met a goblin marshal in Kaldahar Pass who was going mad with pain. He asked us what he was doing here. He responded by telling him the obvious. It looked like he and his cousins were looting and pillaging the mill. He responded angrily, telling us that they were without food and had been called to the pass. 
cold here, what do you mean? It's like a gnawing in my stomach when I'm hungry. I must have eaten everything in this damn pass and it won't let me be. Why can I make it stop? Arr, my gooblet, make it end. Uh. Your desire, indeed. Uh, oh, oh, okay, there's an entrance. Okay, so one of the things that this game doesn't do and Baldur's Gate does, it does not highlight entrances when I press tab. So you can see the barrel is highlighted when I press tab. Or, or this button. <clears throat> but it does not show entrances. Hmm. Oh my lord. We are way too close to, to orcs. Ah, oh, Uligar. Who you? I am Uligar, chief of bleeding eye. Bow before me and pay tribute. Just drink some coffee. Hmm. Sorry, I don't give tributes to smelly morons. You insult me. Wolves will feed on your flesh tonight. Yeah, we'll see about that, bitch. Um, yes. So, I don't really like the fact that my source what? is so close I'll to the orcs. It. Yeah. Yeah. Let's right. see if I can reposition this I here. Your instructions. Get away Ooh, from the... Right. Get away. Sure. What is it? What is I it? don't Serpent. like... Okay, I think now we are better. I turned off the AI by accident. Now we have a proper front line. No fear of my back line getting murdered by orcs. Oh, magic shield. I like magic stuff. This goes to you. The arrows go to you. And you have the highest lore, I think, right? You have lore 11, I have lore 1. Lore 15, okay, so Jan Janssen has the highest lore. Spread some stuff around. Put some jewels in the jewel thingy. Uh, give some arrows to Jan. Can you ID this? I don't have any scrolls. Um, I mean, not gonna equip it just yet. We're gonna learn Blur. This is a level 2 defensive spell. I'm kind of Ready? amazed it's not Abjuration. Is it Illusion? <coughs> illusion, okay, cool. I am ready as oh, indeed. Okay, a couple of goblins, no big deal, I think. Your desire? Yeah, I'm listening. What the you can go over there, you can go over there. No, not that way! Not that way! Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? Prepare yourself. Okay, that's fine. So, Patricia got hit by for one point of damage, that's fine. I will do so. A whole bunch of shields and uh, axes. Let's see if the, anything is trapped. I doubt it, but I you never know. Instructions. This is part of the mill's machinery. Despite the recent presence of goblins, it seems to be intact. Okay. Done and done. There are no traps. Gold, jewels, and throwing axes. Do I want throwing axes? I don't think so, but... Since we can take them, why not? Um, let's get the jewels into the jewel thingy. I am ready as always. I There's do this so. door here. Oh, hello. Hmm. I gotta That's make space. Jermzy. Shh. Be quiet, or the goblins will hear us. What are you doing in the closet? I'm hiding from the goblins. They they got my dad and sister. Okay, we found a little boy hiding in the closet in the mill near Kaldahar. He told us that his father and sister were killed by goblins. Their bodies were probably the ones we passed on the first floor. <clears throat> I didn't even notice, honestly. <laughs> um, wow. 
I'm sorry, I know it can't be that comforting for me to just say it, but it will be okay. Let me take you to the village, I'll find help for you there. Don't worry about me, I'll go to the temple in Kaldahar. I know the way. Now that the goblins are there, it'll be easy to get there. Bye. Uh, okay. 2,400 experience for this. You will help Jermzy find the courage to leave the frozen mill and seek refuge at the temple of Ilmater in Kuldahar. Farewell. We get some level ups, or just one level up for sitting each. And... Uh, Thaco and hit points and lore, all good things. You have my uncertainty. Okay. Let us explore this upper part. Ah, damn, this is not ideal. Um, <clears throat> so we have a goblin archer marshal. We have two of them actually, which I can be somewhat dangerous, maybe. So what I'm just gonna knock it? them down. I'm ready to uh, do while we do with the rest. Of course. What do you have in mind? So you have hmm? stuff to do. You have stuff yeah. to do. Uh, you are gonna. Yeah. Okay, they are both sleeping. I am ready as always. Let's try and focus on these first. And now kill these one by one. Dead. Okay. Every time I see some kind of, uh, I don't know, elite archer or something, I'm gonna knock them down because. Way too squishy, my backline. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Indeed. Okay, wait, so these Very are the stairs well. down and there is no other path, is that it? Okay, no other pathway. So okay. So be it. So be it. Ah, okay, these are the bodies. You were talking about. Okay. I will do so. I will do so. Can I speak this guy again? At your service. Yes. Leave me alone. Okay. I wait very well. So for now, I'm just gonna leave this guy alone, and I'm gonna see if in the next areas I can find a way to to fix that condition. See if we can get some more quest experience or rewards. If not, I'll just kill them. Or both. <laughs> get the rewards and kill them. Hopefully there's nothing over here. Because I don't really feel like going that way right now. Okay. Oh god, this really puts us in... In bad positions, doesn't it? So we have three goblin archers. We have normal goblins here. <coughs> and one archer there. I'm just gonna... Put the archers to sleep. I'm school. gonna have... I'm listening. You three go in there. No. We're gonna start killing the archers. <laughs> Those are sleep thing. I'm ready to do adventuring and stuff. Okay, there's a goblin marshal over there. Yeah. Um Your desire. You guys focus on that. I suppose I got some time to kill. Die. I wanna focus on this guy. Your tomb is at hand. I split your toe. Ooh, wait. Goblin marshal. <clears throat> well, let's see if he's dangerous. Ready. No, I said this them. one. There are more archers up there. Your tomb is at That's hand. done. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go on a killing spree. Come on, hit. A little fire and lightning should lighten things up. This guy has nice AC, I gotta say. I'll split your no, 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 no. Stop, stop going. I'll wash my beard in your blood. Okay. <laughs> so not, not that fearful. <laughs> These are easy kills. Die. I'm not sure if being hit while you're being... asleep is Show an automatic critical hit. It might be. 
me see if I can, if I can check. Hmm, does not seem to be. It should though. Your doom is at hand. At least it's an automatic hit. Like they cannot dodge it, I don't think. Okay. So there are dead bugs. Probably they were eating them. And there's a lot of dead goblins. Besides the ones I just killed. Just taking this for the monies. These goblins were already there. Wait, this was it? There's nothing more? Ah, okay, never mind. There's a cave. There is a cave. Well, <clears throat> Ooh, let's see what we have. We have some battles. What is it? Hmm. Okay, so you're not the best fighter, but you have nice oh, AC. Yeah. And you two go over here. I'm ready to do adventuring. Maybe and you go uh, for that one. Ditch. You go for this one. Yeah. And you three shoot here. Burp. Chomp. <laughs> oh god! Okay, so it, it's only six, di six damage, but... Uh, six damage at this point I, is a lot. I await your uh, let's get you back. Uh, maybe back a little bit further. Okay. Ready. They seem to be distracted with the food. Are they even attacking? <laughs> I mean, except the ones obviously in my way. Okay, these are. I don't. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think that one was attacking. I await your instructions. Oh, nice. Two level ups here. Some plus one arrows. I mean, <clears throat> unidentified arrows. <laughs> I am ready as always. And the level ups what are Yan. So he leveled up in in thief. Cool. I'm gonna do like this, I think. No, actually like this. Traps are more dangerous than not being able to open boxes. <clears throat> and I leveled up as well. So I can cast one additional level one spell, and that is all. <clears throat> so yes, I have this. What do you have in mind? Yeah. So she has lightning bolt and storm shield because what she's a that? piece of Talos. What is My dragon for? disciple guy. When does he get something? Ah, <laughs> third level. So I get one bonus to AC. At third level, I can use the breath weapon, which is fire, and then I just get fire resistance and I get AC and constitution. Okay, lovely. You have very well. <clears throat> okay, so we came over here, but there really wasn't a lot. So I'm not sure what uh, what the the way forward is, honestly. So be it. Also, note to self, I gotta memorize some heal. Ah, it's over here. I'm done. I gotta memorize some healing spells. I will slay you. Oh, no, you can come over here. There you go. No, come here. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's go over here because I don't think I've done anything to fix the headaches. But in any case, let me just check. Let me just check. I don't think she's leveled up. No, she did. Maybe? Maybe not. Me will smash your face! Uh, okay, so nothing here yet. So let's go east. So. Not sure if we're gonna reach Kaldahar right now or if it's just an intermediate area. I would like to find out what's 
What's causing these monsters to go crazy? Something is calling them and they're in pain. Hmm. Ah, so, can I go? Ah, no, I cannot go back. Fighting their way through the goblin infested valley of the pass, the survivors of the doomed East Haven expedition at last came upon the small hamlet of Kaldahar. Nestled within the roots of a massive oak tree, the tiny cottages were a welcome sight for the weary travelers. As the party approached the town, a warm breeze blew over them, chasing away the chill of the frozen pass and carrying with it the sweet scent of cooking fires. Hey, this sounds nice. I do remember the tree. I know I like the tree a lot. Yes, it shall be done. Nate. Hello, Nate. At your yes. I knew you'd make it through. I just knew it. Um, who are you and how did you know you were coming? I'm Nate. Arendelle said that help was on its way. I've been out here every day keeping a lookout for you. Where is the rest of your army? Are you just the scouts or something? <laughs> who is Arundel? Arundel's my friend. He's the oldest and smartest man in the whole world. He can talk to animals, you know. You should probably go see him. He'll be wanting to talk to you. He's probably a druid. Okay. Uh, very well, where can you find this Arundel? He lives across this bridge on the other side of the brook. Just look for the house with the three big rocks out front. Thanks, Nate. Very well. Okay. I indeed. Three big rocks out front. And what is this house? Girth's Equipment Shop. Ah, it says here. <laughs> and, um, okay, so what do we have here? Hello, Mr. Gert. As best I can. Why do I have to go across? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> ah, where so the wind blows, travelers seek shelter. And supplies, mayhap. Good day and cheer to you, sir. My name is Gert. I tell by the cut of your cloth and your bearing that you are a visitor, fresh to Kaldahar. Is there something you wish to purchase? Uh, what is this place? This is my shop, friend. I supply caravans in the shade of this great oak. This shop was my father's, and my father's before him, and it dates almost three generations back, if you can believe it. Like many of the places in Kaldahar and the surrounding lands, there is much history to be found if one digs deep enough. Hmm, I see. May I see what you... No, actually, are you an historian? Nay. I wouldn't go so far as to say that. I dabble in time's passage, perhaps, but it is not a full-time occupation, merely a hobby. I do enjoy learning more of the past and examining trinkets from around the area. I have quite a collection, a little museum of sorts. Some call it junk, but... Okay, so what kind of things do you collect? Keys, notes, books on the region. If you happen to come across any on your travels, I'll pay a fair sum for them to take them off your hands. Okay, so this is why I chose the option... Are you a historian? I kind of had the feeling that maybe a quest was lying there. Okay, so we spoke to a man named Gertin Kaldahar. He runs an outfitting and equipment shop, but he seems to be something of a historian, collector of regional trinkets and small, non-magical artifacts. If we find any old keys, books, notes, documents, or other trinkets on our quest, we might be able to come back and sell them to him. And just to lighten our load. He said we can always buy the items back later if it turns out we need them. Interesting. Uh, so, uh, if I come across keys, books, or documents that I may need later, can I purchase them back? Of course. I purchase such things only for my own interest and to preserve the history and culture of the region. They do not end up on a rattling caravan to some Kalamshan market. That's for certain. Okay. Okay, very well. May I see what you have for sale? <coughs> Mummy's tea <laughs> for 990 gold. <laughs> Uh, priests of Horus Rain, far off Mulhoran, were the first to create this life-saving potion, a foul-smelling brew. It is more by, uh, it is made by boiling used mummy wrappings, ugh, along with naturally dissected animal remains. The resulting tea can then be consumed to neutralize the effects of disease and certain afflictions. Ugh. It's kind of disgusting. Okay. Uh, a girdle, which does nothing. Bracers, which do nothing. What the hell is this, man? 
Ah, so he does have some stuff, but it's very expensive stuff. This is Bard stuff. Ooh. Summon two to four Berserkers once per day. <coughs> Usable by Bard. God damn it. I don't want Bard stuff. <laughs> okay, let's sell all of this stuff. Some nice money. And uh, so this this guy does not does not buy uh, weapons. I just want to see the tree, and then I think I'll end the episode. But I just love the house, <laughs> like inside the tree. And I'm guessing this is the house the kid was talking about because there are three big rocks in front. So yeah, does it say? Arundel's home. Okay, yeah, just like the kid said. Okay, so I think this is a good place to stop. We have just reached Kaldahar after battling through some goblins and some beetles. Patricia kind of took a hit there, but she's fine. And You'll speaking of which, before I go, I think I want to swap... Because this really doesn't do much at the start, right? Yeah, it's it's 5% per level. No, not per level, every 5 levels. Yeah, so this is a bad spell to take at the start. So I'm gonna take a heal here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And you are gonna do the same thing. Okay. The healing is gonna come in handy, I think, for when we rest. Okay, so, as I was saying, we just reached Kaldahar, we battled a lot of goblins, some beetles, we do have some interesting quests to do. We have that uh, ogre and that goblin which apparently have been going mad over some calling. Hopefully uh, people from this town can give us some hints as to how to proceed in there. And yeah, we're gonna have to see where the game takes us from, from there because I certainly don't remember it. Uh, so yeah, as always guys, I want to thank you all for being here watching some Icewind Dale with me. If you have any questions, any suggestions, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about other videos coming to the, the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.